And welcome back to Primetime Sports Tuesday. Champion trainer Anthony Baba Nunes is optimistic that his Triple Crown winner, Supreme Soul, may be back in the island shortly. He's been quarantined in the United States and denied re-entry into the island since December. However, as we hear in this TVJ Sports follow-up by Denise Walters, Nunes says things are looking up following a meeting on Monday with the Veterinary Services Division of the Ministry of Agriculture. This is a stall for the Triple Crown winner Supreme Soul. It's currently being occupied by a two-year-old chestnut filly. However, the hope is that Supreme Soul will be back in the island shortly, staying at this spot. Everybody who was at that meeting, main concern is to get Supreme Soul home as soon as possible. So that's really good. And um, what we all basically agreed upon is that we want to get him here hopefully within a week. There were fears that Supreme Soul could be euthanized after the owner said he could not afford the quarantine fee that could cost him approximately U.S. $40,000 if Supreme Soul was to remain in the United States until March, the time U.S. authorities said they could procure the requisite treatment. The four-year-old Bakeholt was denied re-entry to the island since December because of tick fever. He had gone to Florida to compete in the Caribbean Classic on December 8. It, it's not a disease that the horse has, you know. Um, it is, he was just test positive for, you know, um, tick fever, which is a more, very, very common thing in Jamaica. Very, very, very common. As a matter of fact, if you take a... Um, 100 horses at the racetrack, and you test all of them, 99% of them will be, um, will be showing um, that they have been exposed to, um, to the tick and to um, tick fever. And so that they will, uh, they will have antibodies um, you know, for it. As to why the meeting took so long to happen, Dr. St. Aubin Bartlett, chairman of the Jamaica Veterinary Board, says when it comes to health matters, this takes some amount of time. However, he's assuring that all will be well once Supreme Soul returns to the island. There will be no treatment at all, as I understand it. There won't be a need for, for any treatment because um, all of its tests has um, come through quite negative. Meanwhile, Nunes says once the logistics are worked out, a fixed date should be set for Supreme Soul's return. We have some more details on logistics to sort out, and then I can come to the media when we know everything in concrete and when he'd be coming and so forth, but very happy with the outcome of the meeting yesterday, and we're moving in the right direction. Along with Nunes, groom Adrian Taylor is concerned Supreme Soul may be depressed. It is reported that the Triple Crown winner is in a 10 feet by 10 feet stall for 57 days without exercise and contact from his connections. Put it this way, even as a human being, if you're in jail and not getting the proper attention, it's going to be leave your distress and thing. And as an animal, not get supervision where you're supposed to get at the moment, it's terrible, terrible, bad. And them thing there. Just open prayers say things can turn for the better and then can come back in the country very soon. Supreme Soul is Nunes' first Triple Crown winner, capturing the 2,000 guineas in April, the Derby in June, and the St. Ledger in July. He finished eighth in the Caribbean Classic.